Um, first of all, thank you for having me. I'm Elia. Um, I'm coming from Dubai all the way to Hyderabad to talk about GXR Records. Um, if you're interested in gaming and music, I'm your guy. You can hit me up. I'm just going to do this. Uh, I'll try to talk about the conversions of esports and music as much as I can and try to explain to you how these two worlds merged and where we're actually standing now in this industry. Um, I grew up in a family where I was the black sheep who wanted to just game. And I started another path, which is the music, so I became double black sheep. I did not become a doctor, uh, unfortunately. So moving forward, I, I got interested in gaming. I never wanted to be a pro player whatsoever. I was just fascinated about how games are developed. And then, because I was a musician myself, I always wanted to merge uh, both industries. That being said, Galaxy Racer. I'll be talking about Galaxy Racer just quickly. Um, I come from GXR Records, but Galaxy Racer, this is where it all started. Um, for two years, Galaxy Racer has been um, a transmedia powerhouse that's doing absolutely everything that involved entertainment, esports, gaming, events, all around. And then I was personally working um, at Expo Dubai uh, with A.R. Rahman for six months. While I was doing this uh, for six months, I met Paul Roy, who founded Galaxy Racer. And we moved towards talking about music. Um, he liked music, I liked music. I was doing global releases at the time with uh, major artists. And we started talking about how games are being developed where it's 50%, sorry, 35% music and the remainings are visuals, et cetera, et cetera, and the, the gameplay. And I started releasing a couple of tracks for Galaxy Racer influencers and artists. And in April, we launched GXR Records. GXR Records launched in April 2022 in partnership with Empire Records uh, globally. Empire Records are one of the major labels around the world um, that has like Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, T-Pain, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and from that point, we launched online the GXR uh, event, um, which, which I think approximately 10,000 people were watching this um, without marketing whatsoever. For us in Dubai, 10,000 live streaming, that's a, that's a big number. <laughs> um, as, we move, as we were moving forward in creating GXR records, we stumbled uh, upon games uh, and games that Galaxy Racer were launching at the time. And we came on board to uh, facilitate the music for them. I'll talk about this later. But Galaxy, uh, GXR Records now sits on 20 uh, artists uh, signed globally, um, from Arabic to uh, Asian to uh, American artists. And we also, while we're doing this, we took the initiative. While the MENA and Asia music was going up, we took the initiative to work with major labels like Warner Music and spinning records to promote their music globally through our connections, whether in the gaming industry, whether gamers, esports teams, you name it. And we worked on, I believe you know, you all know Diljit um, uh, Dosanj, who the last two releases that was, they were put out, they were promoted and marketed in MENA and Asia by GXR Records. Gaming and music. As we all grow, grew up, um, there's two major games that play the big role in, in the music industry, FIFA and GTA. 50% of players that played GTA and FIFA left the game on the same day and went to discover the artists and the music that has been played all the whole night when they were perform when they're playing the game. And that generated uh, uh, a peak to the 
charts in music and gaming where companies such as sorry companies such as let's say Rockstar um, Tencent Riot Games started launching their own record labels and from that point till now music and games has been uh, projected to reach 7.90 billion in revenues uh, by end of 2022, followed by 10.61 billion by 2026. I believe the number is going to be higher, but we project based on how we live our life now and how what we see in numbers currently. Um, I believe this number will be double by 2026. Um, I hope I'm right. <laughs> um, from that point, uh, music has been es something essential when we create games. Whether Galaxy Racer are creating a game, whether other uh, uh, you know, uh, game developers are creating games, they always they have a full company that reach out to major labels to get um, a music playlist, um, licensing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And there's two ways of making money from this when you're a game developer. Um, sorry, when you're a publisher, either you sell the music to the company or you play the percentage game where every person that listens to the music inside the game, the owner of the track will get paid. We all know Riot Games, we all know League of Legends, Valorant. Um, Bright Games has been a very big a player in creating music. Uh, when they launched Riot Games, a music record label, they uh, launched a series of um, songs with international artists such as, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the Lila Nas, uh, Imagine Dragons, A Day to Remember. And then they released a session mixtape, which included most of these artists. And then followed by, obviously, every gig or every championship done by Riot Games, it has to have a live concert. That's a, that goes without saying. Following that, we all know Tencent. Tencent are uh, one of also the major players in music worldwide. Um, when they bought China Music Corporation uh, in 2016, they technically eliminated uh, themselves from paying money for music. They started creating their own music um, and they started generating 800 million um, uh, uh, highly diverse and engaged users. From that point on, Tencent uh, branched out to more into the music, and if you're wondering why I have the Spotify logo here, is that Tencent is the sixth biggest shareholder of Spotify, um, which I believe they they invested in Spotify in 2018, if I'm not mistaken, um, which makes them, you know, a big believer of owning music that generates income through gaming. These are some of the events that happen around the world uh, in the esports, um, in Brazil, in Hong Kong, in US. There's obviously in Asia as well, um, and in MENA. But that, if you see DJ Khaled being part of an uh, esports event, that tells you a lot. This guy takes $2 million just to appear on stage. So, moving forward. I'm going to talk about things that we're working on. Um, I don't know why the slide is like this, but Overstep is a game that's going to be released by Galaxy Racer officially, hopefully, end of this year. And we were uh, one of the, obviously, uh, GXR Records will is actually creating the songs and the music for the game, which I wanted to share with you a snippet from it.
that's just a quick snippet of the lobby uh, music that we're creating for uh, Overstep. Overstep is um, as a robot um, three, three versus three game, um, and will be out hopefully end of this year, early next year. And this is uh, the Valorant of Season uh, event that is being uh, that's taking place here in Hyderabad on the 18th, 19th, and 20th of uh, November. Uh, it's organized by uh, GXR, uh, by Galaxy Racer. Uh, we were supposed to have our own concert there as well, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen, at least for this year. Um, with the off-season off event, and we're organizing, or our sister company, Galaxy Racer, are organizing everything, we also we have been asked to create the official track for the event. Um, Aneurysm are one of our um, artists that are signed to GXR Records. Jose Atlan is uh, a member from the Pentakill, uh, the official League of Legends uh, band that created most of League of Legends songs. He is actually, he works with us uh, exclusively now under Galaxy Racer and GXR Records uh, to create music for our upcoming events, our upcoming songs. And I will give you for the first time 15 seconds also from the song. It's not done yet, it's still a demo. I know the guys from Galaxy Racer are gonna kill me just to play the song, but I have to. Can we play it again? Because can we play the song again? I'll, I'll I'll do it. No worries. After you heard this, I, we are actually still looking for an artist from India that can jump on the track. So if you know any hip-hop artists from India, please send them over to us. Uh, we're very interested to feature them on the track. Um, since the off-season is happening in India, it only makes sense to have an artist from India, of course. Um, the future of music in, uh, and gaming, I picked Sandbox just so, because I like Sandbox and I'm on Sandbox as simple as it is. Uh, the music is literally moving from uh, live events to the metaverse. It's not moving, it will work together, but we're looking at something that in 10 years will be part of our regular daily life. There are other games out there that are joining the metaverse, like Decentraland. Um, I like a lot Sandbox, because they have been contributing to the music industry for since they launched, they've been in partnership with artists like Dead Mouse, Soldier Boy, and others, um, Ozzy Osbourne as well. And I wanted to make this sh extremely short so I can take your questions. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, it was really, really informative. Uh, so my question is that, uh, see, when we talk about gaming and gaming community, gaming industry, everybody wants to be a, either an esports player, or uh, he, he wants to start his agency and want to associate it with the uh, gaming scene. But like you have shown the other side, like musical side of the gaming community as well. So we have a lot of good artists, good musicians in India, from India. Uh, for them, like the, their bread and butter comes from like Bollywood and then the radios and all those things. So uh, if, if a newcomer, like who is really good with the music and everything, and if he wants to make a career in gaming, so what are the things he need? Uh, skill wise and uh, secondly how he should approach the community because in, in India it's a niche basically even though in last five years we are growing but with not that speed as like other community or other uh, region from all over the globe are growing so any tips for uh, those people uh, like how to get into the gaming side of the music thank you the biggest uh, this is a very good question actually uh, so the gaming industry now works how the music industry used to work in 10 years ago where if you're an artist who have a, a mixtape or an album or whatever, you have to go all the way to 
other co countries and represent your music to uh, the music labels. It's similar now to in the gaming industry. In the gaming industry, the cool thing about it is that they're not looking at how much numbers you have online. They're looking at how much you're talented and how much you're capable of creating that in interesting music. Um, therefore, three, three places that you could do that, one of them is conferences like this. Simply attend, have your music with you, meet people like me or others in the music industry or labels. Second is literally the internet is your playground. Labels are accepting submissions uh, everywhere. When I say labels, I'm talking the gaming labels, like the right game, uh, right games, m uh, music, and the Tencent, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not talking just music uh, uh, distribution or releases. Um, and the third, third thing is literally just, it's, it's, it's a long path. I took it myself, become a musician or an instrument that you're interested in, and start producing your own music from your uh, from your bedroom, and so just drop it online, and let's see how it goes. This is the this is the long way, but these are the three ways to get your music to the right people. And again, it's not about how much you have numbers online. If you're talented and your music is great, it will hit any games. I know many artists in the MENA region, for example, they have their games now in FIFA for the upcoming FIFA 2023. Uh, out of nowhere, they they barely have followings. Now they're creating the following based on this news that has been going around. Um, Asia will follow 100%. Thank you so much for this. Big uh, hogger of music, which have been uh, you know, used across games, ranging from all the Need for Speed games. Like even now, at times, I listen to you know, the songs from those games. Gran Turismo, I'm a big uh, lover of all the songs. So, um, the question that I had in my mind was with regards to, you know, a, a bit contradictory uh, thing that is just mentioned some time ago, wherein you mentioned the names of, say, artists like Dead Mouse, Ozzy Osbourne, and uh, you know, here you are also looking at small, small artists. Uh, I, I don't know how big GXR Records is, but how do you actually approach to these, uh, to to all these big? you know, music producers, these artists, and what are the financials uh, sort of like? Because see, like you rightly said, it's the talent that mainly matters and talent can come, you know, for a very less price. And of course, it can be very costly as well in terms of the amount of followers that uh, the particular artist had. So how does it work for you? So if you're asking me personally, I've had almost 15 years uh, in, my, in my music career. Uh, until I reached this level. I personally worked with Ozzy Osbourne. I personally worked with Dead Mouse. I personally worked with all these artists. I, per I worked with A.R. Rahman for six months. And I was capable of, of building that relationship with whoever is, are behind these legends, the managements, the labels. Uh, GXR Records, just to give you uh, a little bit of an idea, we launched officially three months ago. Uh, we were working for six months. We launched it three months ago. Now we sit at the headquarter in Dubai with an office in DC, US. Office is being launched in Africa. And we're looking at Asia, um, especially India as well, as, as a market. How we, obviously what, 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 you, what you just mentioned is very important when it comes to the, the investment in the talents. We, we take small artists to the biggest in, in our roster. The 20 artists that I just mentioned, we have somebody that we launched our, our, ourselves with zero followers they have, and we have artists that have like 15 million followers. So it's, it, it comes down to how much of an artist you want to be. Some, some people, they just want to release a track every six months. Um, some people, they just want to release every four months. It's, it's the consistency is the key for us. If you're consistent, we work towards building that brand that you're hoping to achieve or accomplish in the future. So the investment comes from two parts. Us, as a company, we, we have our own capital that we uh, leverage on, and also we have an extended uh, brands list that we work with, um, whether creating their music, whether through Galaxy Racer um, ecosystem of uh, marketing through influencers globally. That's quick. I hope I answered your question. Awesome.
If there's no more any more questions, I would like to thank you so much, guys. Uh, I would like to thank the team for having me, flying me all the way from Dubai. Thank you uh, for the organizers. Um, I've been 11 years ago. I came to India for the first time ever. It was Hyderabad, so it, it has been an emotional comeback for me. So thank you for having me. And if you have any questions, I'm going to be here for the whole conference. Pleasure to meet you all. See you soon.